Hi, Brandon Pierce here. This week, my wife's cousin Lizzie is visiting us here in Bali, and I thought it would be fun as we're showing her around the town of Ubud, where we live, to also give you a little glimpse into what this town is like and why we've chosen to call it home for part of the year. Ubud has so much to offer. Uh, culturally, it's packed with temples. As you can see, I'm standing here in front of the local neighborhood temple, local village temple, where there are constant ceremonies. Um, and all over Bali, just as I was driving today, I saw several uh, you know, people dressed in ceremonial garb or wearing fruit baskets on their heads. Or There's always something going on for the Balinese Hinduism here. And there are tons of nature activities, amazing restaurants, um, incredible shopping as well, lots of unique boutique shops. So this will just be a quick snapshot of a few of the things that we're doing around Ubud this week to give you a taste for it. Okay, so this is the Champuan Ridge Walk. It's just like a four or five minute drive from our house. And some lovely views, a great place to walk early in the morning because otherwise it gets really hot. Uh, but we're having our driver drop us off at one end and then pick us up at the other where there's a lovely cafe and we'll have some, some breakfast. There's a spa there too if you get a chance to do a massage. But this is one of, uh, one of the fun nature activities to do in Ubud. All right, this is the sacred monkey forest in Ubud. And as you can see, there are lots of monkeys. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, beautiful trees. It costs around two or three dollars to get in. And it's a great place to spend, you know, an hour or so around Ubud. Um, it, you know, you do want to be a little bit careful with the monkeys because they can get aggressive. And if you have food, they will climb on you and yeah, hello there. I don't have any food. <laughs> hello. So, Jen, tell me what you think of the monkey forest. This is a fun visit. Like, I'm usually not wanting to come, but good. Just had a fun time watching them jump in the, the little ponds and attacking each other and just hugging and playing. What did he steal? Your first impressions of oh. the monkey forest. Well, there are a lot of monkeys here, first of all, <laughs> and then um, it's just a, a kind of an interesting study. Monkeys are so like humans, and I always forget that. Um, and you know, they they're like humans in the good and the bad ways. I think so. That's kind of a cool thing to look at. Yeah, there really are a lot of monkeys here, and it's fun because you can get up so close to them. I mean, as close as you want, really, which is great if you're a photographer and you know want to take photos or videos of, of monkeys up close. But there's more than just monkeys here. It's, it's beautiful nature, there's uh, rivers and, and beautiful trees, amazing architecture, Balinese temples, and statuary, and it's it's quite a cultural experience more than just a place to see wild monkeys, which are not so wild, I guess. But a really fun place to spend an afternoon or a morning. So this is a giant cow that the Balinese have built. It's part of a cremation ceremony that they're going to be doing this Sunday. Uh, they'll parade this, they'll lift it up with, with bamboo, a bamboo flooring and carry it uh, along with a lot of other things that they're building. Maybe you can see some of the things behind me. And, and they'll parade it down the street uh, to the cemetery, to several places, and then they burn it along with the body that's inside. This is a fairly common thing in Bali. It's not, you know, it's not like they do it every month. It, I don't know how often, it, it depends on how often someone with the, the social status uh, for this kind of a cremation um, to take place. But each village will also do their own cremation ceremonies at different times for, for different things. So this is right in the center of town um, and yeah, right on Main Street here. So. And these are the famous rice terraces of Tigalala. Incredible. So here we are at Clear Cafe, one of our favorite restaurants in Ubud. Uh, what did you get today, Jen? Yeah, we've got amazing food and drinks here for very good prices and an amazing view at the moment. They are going to move locations soon back to their other one where they had a fire a few years ago. Lovely temple right here. And here we are at Karsa restaurant. This is at the other end of the Champuran Ridge Walk. Eating our breakfast and enjoying this lovely Ooh, this view. This is Jamu, and if I'm remembering, I think it says here in the menu. So it's turmeric, ginger, lime juice, and honey. And it says in the menu, it's a superfood 
liver detox that reduces inflammation, improves immunity, and fights off bacteria. And a half glass per day keeps the doctor away. And I had like a full glass. So I had some the other day with Lizzie too. And Taksu makes a good one. So this is really popular in Bali and it's really good and really healthy. So that's my morning breakfast drink today. <laughs> So this dish is called mi goreng, it's just fried noodles, it's a uh, typical food here in Indonesia. I'm eating it for breakfast this morning along with some fruit and this delicious young fresh coconut. As far as food goes, I have never been to another place like Ubu. Whether you want vegan, organic, Italian, Japanese, French, Indian, anything you want, Ubu has you covered. And here's one of the boards. At one of the restaurants you can see there's so many classes, Qigong and World Meditation Day and Transcendental Art and Yoga and uh, all sorts of different things. So this is the Ubud Market. As you can see there's all sorts of crafts here from you know, carving statues and clothes and shoes and little instruments and decorations and all sorts of things. And it's a, a great place to you know, pick up souvenirs or something if you're, if you're here as a tourist. And normally if you really like to drive a bargain, you can get things here for about a fourth of the price of what's quoted, but then you'll yeah, you have, to, you have to really, really want it for, for that price. Even if you don't bargain, some of the stuff is still a pretty good deal by Western standards. Emily's trying on a new swimming suit there. And you can see how the changing room works. The woman holds up the swimming room for her to do it. <laughs> Peeking over the top, I you love it. So this is Jalan Monkey Forest, which is one of the main shopping streets in Ubud. And you can see there are a ton of uh, boutique shops as well as a few uh, chain stores and all sorts of unique clothing and souvenirs and uh, decorations and anything that you could really want uh, as far as Balinese art goes and just really artsy creative stuff as well. There was an ice cream shop that we went to the other night that's new and it has all sorts of uh, hanging decorations and beautiful things in it and uh, there's just a lot of creativity here. Now, one of the best ways to get around to Ubud is by motorbike. Uh, if you drive a car, you're a bit limited on the one-way streets and with the traffic, but motorbikes can weave in and out of cars and go multi-directional on some streets. And it, it's a good way to get around. This <laughs> clip just gives you a, a sense of what it's like to ride a motorbike around Ubud. Uh, this is on uh, the main street. And here's, here's one of my favorite uh, parts of Ubud, this beautiful uh, tree tunnel here. And I just love these vines that hang down from, from these trees and, and the beautiful stonework on the sides. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. There is a lot more that I could say. Um, we're going to the beach tonight, a 40 minute drive to the nearest beach. And well, last night uh, uh, we participated in a cultural dance, which was really fun. So I'm not showing all the clips here, but just wanted to give you a taste of, of Ubud and uh, share with you a little bit about why I love it. So thanks for watching. Remember to live well and enjoy life now. Hey, if you like that video, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit my website at pierceonearth.com and subscribe to my newsletter.